The beginner knows he's not special. He's starting from the bottom. So when the mistake is made, there is no need to think yourself a disappointment. Nothing was expected of you in the first place, but that does not mean you were not trying your best. It's like a child learning to walk and falling along the way. The fall does not make the six o'clock news because it was expected. And it's not surprising if I cannot sculpt a marble like Michelangelo's David when I don't even know how to use a chisel or a hammer. When one begins any endeavor with the mindset of a beginner, what a Japanese call Shoshin, you implicitly accept that you are bound to make mistakes and that this is part and parcel of the process. The fact that the mistakes will be made does not mean that one should indulge in them. It's the height of insanity to keep doing the same thing and expect a different result. If it is a 100 kilometer journey you've embarked on, you can't possibly stop 15 kilometers in and ask yourself, why am I not yet at my destination? You must first acknowledge the misstep, learn from it, find ways to overcome it, only then will you make progress towards the destination. Since mistakes are part of the process, there is no need to be ashamed of them. This is the Japanese concept of kentsugi or golden joinery. It is this idea that the cracks and breakages normally in poetry are not to be hidden but are to be looked at as part of the object's history. They acknowledge that it is because of this crack, this break, that makes the object what it is today. They draw attention to this by highlighting the site of repair in gold. You have definitely experienced some things you wish you had. This could have been a bad relationship, horrible interview, failure in an assignment, misdiagnosis, or perhaps an unwarranted dressing down by a consultant. The lessons learned from all of them play a part in the you others get to experience today good or the bad. Being humans means we are at constant war with our own desires. Always have a place in our mind we should be. A status we should have achieved by this point. This could be within one's career, financially, or in our own interpersonal relationships. And at any point in time, we are either there or not, which can lead to some uncomfortable inner dialogue with the self. I always tell myself that one day I'm going to make a movie. When I pick up the camera and I leave the house, I feel like a Scorsese, a Tarantino, or even a Spielberg. However, when I look at the crap I produce compared to the works I find inspirational, I always feel like quitting. I should be jailed for crimes against humanity. But that's the wrong attitude. I need to acknowledge that it's a process. Nothing worthwhile on this planet is easy to achieve. Those guys I respect, the works I find inspirational, the folks have only been able to do them because they have countless horrible projects they've done in the past. They've put in their 10,000 hours, they've mastered it. But the problem is, we are all humans. And when you are in it, the only thing you say is, I suck, this sucks, and there is no. But if you learn to see events as a consequence of processes, you can be a bit gentle with yourself. As long as the direction is right and one is making progress towards the goal, it does not matter the pace at which we are going. It's your boy OT, and I'm out. Salute.